let me introduce myself. I'm Patrick Reed Jocelyn. I'm the circuit court judge in Tuscola County. And uh, I have had this opportunity to meet uh, with individuals that have expressed an interest in the case of Mahmoudi versus Mahmoudi. The judgment of divorce uh, provided that the file was suppressed. Custody of the minor child uh, was awarded to the plaintiff and the father uh, was denied visitation and was uh, prevented or enjoined and restrained from uh, having any contact with the plaintiff and then her minor child. Was he somebody who was uh, presenting uh, uh, Mr. Mahmoudi? No, there was not. Uh, no one represented him. Uh, no one filed any documents or appearances in the file. Uh, I think there is an indication that uh, he was served through ordinary mail. Obviously, no sheriff in the state of Michigan went out and served him in Tehran or wherever he was residing at that time. This summons is mailed to him uh, uh, in April 19, 1991. Oh, is that right? And it was too late. Yes, it would be too late for him to appear. So apparently what happened here from what you're presenting me and after talking to him, I don't, this is news to me, I would not know, uh, is that he didn't even know he was divorced and, uh, until it was, as they say in French, a fat accompli, that is over and done with, I assume you're familiar with that term, so. Do you think uh, there could be some difference if, if he, for example, if he was a Canadian? As far as... But there's uh, some politics in this case. As far as the court is concerned? Oh, no. Never. Uh, not in my court. I would never allow uh, any kind of, as we might say, xenophobia, uh, fear or prejudice or bias. Mr. Mahmoudi would have received the, the red carpet treatment in my courtroom. Mr. Mahmoudi, he lost his property here. I didn't, uh, as far as I know, there's nothing in the judgment of divorce dividing any property at all. He never received notification of that hearing. Since he did not receive notification of the hearing, the court is without jurisdiction I could not divide properly and legally that property, so he would have sound reasons for attacking the judgment of divorce. But when we talk about custody, visitation, child support, those things, uh, as we those say, those are issues based upon what? Question now, there's no point in visiting that because it's it's done and over with. Well, my God, she's my daughter. She's my child. On what basis I was prevented to see her? After all, I was in a different country. I could have seen her if I wanted to. But they took the rights away from me for no reason. For what reason? For what reason? They made a political issue out of a simple divorce case. So they have taken the words in the book, Not Without My Daughter, as gospel, as evidence. Long Rapids Road, that's right. That's right, that's it. 410, that's right. Yes. That's it, that's it, that's it. See, from here, from the river, you look at the two stories. From the street, you look, yeah. you see only one story. Yeah, but this yeah. is a 410. This yeah, is the okay. same house. That's right. They've added these steps to it, you see. And there was only a garden. There was a rock garden here. That's the ravine. That's right. Exactly. And that is the uh, jetty. Yeah, that's the river that you go fishing, you know.
This is the American Embassy in Helsinki. Thank you for calling. Consular section, Ms. Anderson, may I help you? Uh, good afternoon. This is Dr. Mahmoudi again. Yes, hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, did you receive my documents? I did receive them, sir. I haven't had a chance to carefully look at them. But my um, initial impression is that you probably are unable to use that green card. You've just been out of the States for, for too long. The green card is essentially useless to you and anybody else at this point. You've been out of the States for such an extended period of time. I truly believe if you attempted to enter the States with that green card, you'd probably be arrested. No, I do not want an attempt to enter the country. That's why I'm checking with you. I understand. I'm just trying to give you all the facts here, Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Then, the end, uh, you are suggesting that I should apply for a visa? Well, you can go back to the Middle East and apply for a visa. You can't, you cannot apply for one here. We have no obligation at all to see um, non-resident Iranians here, and we don't. Yes. Okay, now let me ask you some other question, if you do not mind. I have a bit of time, just a bit, so go ahead. I'll make it very short. You said the whole purpose of coming to Finland is to uh, try to get hold of my daughter that I have not seen for 16, 17 years. And I was wondering if you, on the behalf, because she's an American citizen, you can help me uh, get in touch with her because I've sent her several emails, and I have a feeling that she has not received them. I, can't, I have no authority or ability to do that, sir. I'll be stepping way out of line. I can't do that. Well, I know this is not a part of the uh, your, your duties as a, a counselor and so on, but I thought because this is a humanitarian gesture, and you have, the, you know, you're on a mark. I don't have any authority to do that, sir. I would... My supervisors would find that objectionable, not just for you, but for anybody. I can't, I don't have any way of locating your daughter in the States, and I have no authority to do it. Okay, well, thank you very much for okay. your, your, your guidance. All right. And I appreciate it. All right. Okay, goodbye All right. now. Goodbye.